Hello, my name is Blake and I have been selling online for over a decade and in that time period I've sold millions in dollars in revenue of just stuff. Wholesale, retail arbitrage, thrift stores, whatever. I have done that uh, a million dollars plus in revenue and also uh, a million plus mistakes. I run a free Facebook group linked in the description below that is meant to help mentor new sellers without the upfront cost normally associated with mentorship. And in doing that for a few years now, I've realized that most new Amazon sellers make one huge mistake that ends up costing them hundreds of dollars and sometimes smothering their newfound business with a pillow made of incomprehension and inexperience. What is that fatal mistake? Get ready because this video is all about Amazon sales rank. Amazon differs from eBay in that eBay shows you what items have recently sold at what price and in what condition, uh, both pictures and listed. Amazon merely gives you a number. To many, these numbers, the sales rank, which can go from one to a hundred million or even higher, seems both unfairly basic and mind-numbingly complex. But don't worry, it isn't that bad. Uh, what it represents and how you can use it to make money is what we're gonna go over in this video. It's not that hard to do. So sales rank can be understood as if it were the final results of a race. The number one sales rank item finished first. Uh, by which I mean it sells the fastest. And every number above that sells slower. If there are 100,000 video game titles for sale on Amazon, the one sales rank sells more copies uh, in a given day than the 10 sales rank, uh, and the 10 sales rank sells more than the 500 sales rank. How many more copies a day depends on the category, depends on what it is basically, but that general paradigm of lower equals better is true. Usually when I explain this, most new sellers understand. One is good, one million is bad. And then I say, except when one million isn't bad uh, and their heads explode, <laughs> because how could one million not be bad? Uh, there aren't even a million video game titles out there. And that's true. But then we remember every category has its own unique sales rank. There are even categories within categories. For example, DVD players is the child category of electronics. But we're not going to get into that because that's more advanced stuff. And generally, when you're using the Amazon seller app or a third party app, the sales rank that you're being shown, not in every case, mind you, but generally, is going to be the parent rank, the main rank, the one that allows us to easily see uh, how fast something will sell and give us a general idea of the competition around it. What I'm trying to get at is that the sales rank amongst categories is not directly comparable. It's indirectly comparable, but not directly comparable. So the sales rank of a video game has no effect on if it sells faster or lower than the sales rank of a book. Now, you have to compare them amongst other products in their category to get a general idea so you can indirectly compare them. You can directly compare the relative sales rank. You cannot directly compare the sales rank that would be like trying to see if it makes more sense to bet on the Detroit Tigers than the New England Patriots just because the Detroit Tigers have more wins in any given year than the New England Patriots. They have more wins because there are more games played, so uh, a 150,000 sales rank book is better than 150,000 video game because there's more metaphorical games being played in books than there are video games. Okay, so now we understand sales rank and how it can differ by item, but what does that mean to us? It means we can make relatively accurate predictions about how many items will sell in a given time period and how quickly that first sale will occur. The reason we can do this is because sales rank is dynamic. Dynamic meaning it's in a constant state of change. That's not technically true. It isn't changing every millisecond, but as far as we're concerned, it's dynamic. The change is slow enough where the number that we see when we look up an item is usable. For the more inquisitive minds out there, you're gonna be saying, but what's the time period? How often is sales rank tracked? I don't know that. I don't think anybody knows that. It doesn't really matter because once you get down to items where you have to uh, track sales rank every 10 minutes because an item's selling, so many are selling, you can just buy whatever there is out there. 
We use sales rank more on the slow moving items to say, okay, I'm gonna buy 10 this month, or I'm gonna buy 100 this month, not am I gonna buy 10 million or 5 million. Just we're not there right now. Maybe you are in your business, but most viewers are not. So if an item sells, the sales rank drops. If it doesn't sell, the sales rank gradually ticks higher. When you use third-party websites like Keepa.com to see a sales rank chart, meaning it tracks the sales rank every day over the course of one month, three months, whatever the time period is, you're going to see a graph that looks kind of like this. Ho-cha! Ho-cha! So it's a gradual increase and then a dramatic, steep, vertical drop. That's a sale. So no sales, no sales, no sales, sale! No sales, no sales, no sales, sale! That is uh, how we can use the sales rank data to understand, okay, there's one cha every two months, that means one item sells every two months. There's one cha every week, therefore one item sells every week. Now obviously there is more that goes into this, into buying books, into sourcing books, especially long tail two sale a year books than just sales rank. There's seasonality, there's uh, predicted competition, but those are more advanced topics for another video. So uh, there we go, that's the gist of it. Sales rank equals low, good, high, bad. Uh, low and high are relative terms based on the number of items in that category, and categories have uh, subcategories within them. You take all the information, you can go to Keepa.com, type in the ASIN or the book title or whatever it is, you'll get a graph, and before that may have seemed totally foreign and crazy, but now hopefully you understand uh, it a bit more between my uh, explanations and my karate chop uh, and sound effects, which I, I know were very helpful. All right, uh, thanks for watching the video. Again, I am Blake. I make tons of these videos, free mentorship. I want you to make money and not because I want to sell you a bullshit course. I know that's wild in 2020 or 2021 if you watch this next year, but that's just uh, who I am. And so I encourage you to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and pay me in views. Let's have our relationship built that way. I'll see you guys later and as always, don't be a shithead.